am Samantha Schultz in Easter Seals Crossroads has helped me make my way. Hey Sam, looking good today young lady, keep it up. So I was vacationing in Boulder, Colorado and I was spending the day mountain biking where I flipped over my handlebars and I hit my, the left side of my face causing my brain to shake in my head resulting in a two centimeter bleed in my basal ganglia. She had been a very independent young woman and she essentially went back and was living with her family. She was no longer able to drive and was learning to do very basic things such as walk and talk. I just, had just finished my undergraduate degree in exercise science and I was actually going to Colorado to look at some schools to look at occupational therapy programs, but I found myself on the other side of therapy instead. I think that Sam is a, a perfect example of how you never know when disability can affect you. She was a young lady, really at the beginning of her life, and on a very successful path, doing something that she loved, and she woke up the next day and her whole life was changed. Thank you. I kind of got the impression this was going to be very detrimental to my life, and it has been the complete opposite for me. I just love the kind of person it's making me be. It's making me appreciate the whole world around me, and I think that people will pick up on that because I have gotten many more relationships than I ever expected I would, and I will never take anything for granted ever again. Ever. <laughs> Her sense of humor, the way she interacts with her members, and it's the same people all the time. The active older adults come in and they have such a great relationship that sometimes I think that they talk to her more than they actually work out, but it's a lot of fun. So I was placed with a job coach through Easter Seals Crossroads. After interviewing me and realizing what I studied in school and things that I enjoy, she found the YMCA for me. I was able to use my degree, even though I might have lost a little, I was still able to practice. She was really worried about if she was going to get hired or not, even though she had done such a good job that it was absolutely no question. But working with Easter Seals made us very confident in her. I would say I definitely, when I was volunteering at first, I definitely saw myself as more of like, oh, this is a girl with something wrong with her that's working here. But now I see myself more so as, I'm Sam, would you like to meet me? Brain injuries are very common right now in military. Benjamin Harrison YMCA is a military base, so I'm hoping that I can help a lot of people. For the while, I was really con like at the point where I was like, why me? Why, why is this happening to me? But then I realized it is me because I can do this. And I kind of just told myself that I'm not letting this get me down. I told myself this was not it. Hopefully it inspires them that they can tell them that they can do it. So the best part of my day is when I can see somebody that I've worked with in their initial workouts Seeing them come in with their workout card and doing their workouts on their own makes me feel very grateful that they were taking my advice and were helping to better their life. My plan is to get my personal training certificate and the YMCA offers a, a class where you can take a two-day course and then take the test at the end to get a personal training certificate. And while I probably could just take the test, some things have happened since I've graduated college so I could probably use the class a little help for a little help. So all of us um, may at some point in time need the help that Easter Seals Crossroads can provide because we serve a diversity of individuals and um, we're going to be around. We've been around for 80 plus years and, and we're going to be around in the future. What would you say to somebody to help motivate them? I would just say yes you can. Just try and fail and then try again and try again. Keep trying. Never give up.